men and women have different death effects, so it makes sense that they also train different, right? In this video, I want to go over how men and women actually are different in anatomy and muscle structure and how women can take advantage of these differences. So the first thing you need to understand is that all the principles in my program still apply. To build muscle, women also need to train primarily with compound exercises. Apply progressive overload and stick to program long term. So in this sense, 90% of the workout should be the same as for men. No pink two pound dumbbells or hours and hours on the treadmill. Forget about that. Instead, weight training should make up a considerable part of their exercise regimen. Now, the small but important differences. First of all, women have fewer and smaller fast twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch fibers are the ones most prone to growth and that most contribute to your heavy lifting. Fewer fast twitch fibers mean more slow twitch fibers, which are less prone to fatigue. That means women can actually handle more volume than men. We are talking about 10 to 15 percent more. So keep in mind and include some higher reps work in the range of 10 to 20 reps. It also means that many women benefit from longer warm-ups. Their strength usually improves set by set instead of getting worse with each set, which is so common among guys. Another important difference is that women can tolerate metabolic stress better. For them, a less metabolic byproducts like lactate accumulate in the blood during lifting, which means less burn in the muscle. The practical implications of this are simple. Women have much more staying power than their male counterparts. A guy already struggling on rep 6 probably won't get past rep 8, but the woman will often make it up to rep 10 or even 12. Keep this in mind for your own training if you are a woman or for someone else if you train with women. Lastly, let's talk about hormones. While women do have significantly lower testosterone levels than men, this won't be a problem in muscle growth and should never be a reason to take steroids. Also because of menstruation, make sure to get enough quality fat sources in your diet. While some men can get by eating only 50% of their daily calories in the form of fat, women should get at least 20 or even 25%. And that's pretty much it. Make sure to not overthink all of this too much as a woman. And like I said before, the fundamentals are still the same and you will see results if you apply them correctly. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.